You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Majlis of His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Majlis of the Al Musallam family, the Majlis of the Al Mahmoud family, and the Majlis of the Minister of Shura Council and House of Representatives Affairs, Ghanim bin Fadl Al Bu'ainin. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed gratitude to the citizens on their firm commitment to Bahrain's advancement and development across all areas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that Bahraini citizens are the foundation on which Bahrain's development continues to thrive under the leadership of his Majesty King Hamad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined that Bahrain's diversification efforts aim to continue expanding the government's non-oil revenues. He underscored the need to further align non-oil government revenues with economic growth. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain will continue to build on its economic achievements through the advancements of a smart oil economy and competitiveness in all sectors. He concluded by noting that Bahrain's economic vision 2030 has delivered and continues to support a wide range of initiatives that drive sustainability and competitiveness in the economy. For their part, the Majlis's hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visit and highlighted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the Majlis visits.
The Chief of Public Security and Chairman of the National Disaster Management Committee, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, held an emergency meeting of the panel of the representatives from the concerned authorities. He welcomed the participants and highlighted that the meeting was held as part of the directives of the Interior Minister to learn about the readiness of concerned authorities to tackle any rain related emergencies and incidents because of unstable weather. He said that the panel holds an ongoing meeting to deal with changes and provide the required assistance, in addition to set alternative plans in case the approved plans could not be implemented. The chief highlighted that the meeting reviewed the possibilities, preparations and preparedness to cope with heavy rain within the emergency plans. He was briefed about the preparations of all authorities and noted that the Interior Ministry had activated a comprehensive plan to deal with the changing weather in association with concerned directorates. Also, an awareness plan was launched to inform the public about safety instructions in different situations. He said that the National Disaster Management Committee follows up the development and monitors the readiness of concerned authorities. More personnel have been assigned to the Operations Directorate and the civil defense centers to receive cases, provide safety instructions, and deal with accidents. All required machines and tools have been allocated to handle rescue operations and provide assistance to the public. During the meeting, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Education for Resources and Services briefed the committee of the plans of the Education Ministry to deal with emergencies inside schools and their surroundings. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs, and Urban Planning highlighted coordination to provide tanks to remove rainwater. The Ministry of Works is dedicated to ensuring that all main roads are accessible for road users to reach hospitals, the airport, or other important places to them. The Undersecretary of the Health Ministry noted an emergency plan to provide health services during accidents or disasters and an evacuation plan to ensure the availability of a number of beds and medicine to accommodate emergency cases. The Chief urged all to be cautious, get information from official sources, and follow instructions for their safety. He also chaired a meeting with the General Directorate of the Public Safety Security Presidency to learn of the readiness of all departments and review the project.